Okay, this one's going out to Romeo. I don't think I've ever met a, a guy in real life called Romeo. That's a cool name. Romeo and Juliet. So Romeo's asked me, he has a driving test coming up. I'm, I'm assuming the practical side of it, right? So there's 50 questions he says he needs to learn. I'm not sure if he's in the, in the UK or not. But 50 questions you need to learn, right? So that's actually a pretty simple process. I think they're multiple choice, if they are or if they're not, regardless if this will still work. And I'm not sure if they are 50 of the same questions or 50 out of a, a selection of like, you know, you know, maybe a thousand or something like that. Right. But regardless, this will still work the same. Right. If you have like some question bank of information, you can just go through those and like do those questions. They'll work really well. Um, what I would do is use a, an app called Anki, a program called Anki. This is something I talk about a lot when it comes to working smart not hard right working uh how do you call this working i literally had this phrase in my head uh for less time but doing more work right is that what i want to say what's the phrase oh it doesn't matter okay let's continue here anki right so anki is like a space repetition software that allows you to do questions like this and get them like revealed to you in the exact right frequency that you need to be revealed them right so with flashcard programs you basically go through them like this right you have a pile of flashcards right flashcards and you do them and you get some correct and some incorrect right some incorrect and some correct right you get the incorrect pile you do them again straight away right incorrect correct and you keep going like that incorrect correct incorrect correct right so the ones you got correct straight away, you shouldn't see them in a while. Like you, sh you should revise them like a long time later. But the ones you got correct like in the last bit, you should probably do them again tomorrow because you really, really need to revise it. You got them wrong like three times in a row. Oh my goodness, I need to see that again and again to like hammer it into my head. But this one, this one, like if this one's like one day apart, this one you can revise like one week apart, seven days, right? But to keep track of all of these piles that you might do and you mix them up and like kind of like reveal them at different times, it's hard to do with your own head, right? To like note down a piece of paper, like, okay, when did I revise this card, that card, that card? Individually, each card will have a different level of like difficulty it needs to be spread apart at, right? If that makes any sense, right? So one card will be seven days, one card will be 42 days, one card will be three days, one card will be eight days. It's hard to keep track of. So what we use is a space repetition software like Anki that does that stuff for you, right? Some alternatives include Quizlet. These are like internet versions that are less powerful, but still do the job if you can't get it for free for some reason. All right, Anki is free on PC, I think Mac as well, and on Android, but on Apple, it's like 24 quid right for some reason on apple it's 24 quid i don't know why but to be honest with you 24 quid is worth it for what it is it's so good it's so so good um okay so what was i saying i would input all of these stuff all these 50 questions or a thousand if, if you need to go through every single one of them into a flashcard software like anki and what i would do to save you some time is screenshot those pictures and put them in you can put pictures into anki right so you can put images into Anki, screenshot those, put them into Anki, and screenshot what the answer is and put it into Anki, right? So what it will look like is, so if I can move this, where's the mouse? There it is. So if I can, it'll show you a question, and you'll, like, you'll get the answer, and you can set, you can press reveal, right? And click reveal and say, okay, did I get that right? Did I get that wrong? You have to like, kind of say it out loud. Say out loud the answer, and then it will reveal the answer below right? And you, you can select, did I get it wrong? Did I get it right? Or was it kind of in between, right? Uh, I kind of got it half, half, right? And so based on that, it will show you the, the card again at different intervals, right? So keep doing that with the pictures. So image here, image here. That's like the fastest way I can think of to like upload everything all at once, right? So do that. And that should be done for you, right? It, it, it won't take much time in the day. So maybe... If you revise like 30 minutes a day, if it's 50 questions, that takes no time at all. That'll take like five minutes, right? If it was like a thousand questions, it might take 30 minutes, right? <laughs> Sorry about my dog downstairs. Okay, let's just get through this. I think that's all I have to say, by the way. I think that's it. 
Sorry about that. I'm just going to finish this anyway. Um, I think that's everything. Right, I'd use Anki or Quizlet or Memorize. They're still good. I'm not saying they're not good, but Anki's a lot more powerful. Hmm. And it won't take you long. A couple minutes every day, you'd be done. Right, if you want to do like a double day, 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening, that's cool too. If it's 50, if it's only 50, it will take you like five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening. It's really genuinely that good. It's really easy, right? And if you have like notifications turned on, maybe you can like have it notify you when like you're supposed to revise it again because sometimes it's like six hours instead of like one day or maybe like 12 hours or 14 hours and it can notify you during the day when you're supposed to revise it. And so like that's the optimal kind of way to do it, right? But yeah, you shouldn't worry too much about the details if you just follow through the process and trust the process on Anki, it should work. Or Quizlet or Memrise, they're both good too. Yeah, that's about it. Good luck. Let me know when your exam is and I'll, I will stay posted on that. I'd like to know if you passed or not. That'd be interesting. Okay, I think that's everything. Yeah, all right. Peace. Take care.